here is the Sega Saturn, released in 1994. Basically, Sega tried to compete with PlayStation and Nintendo. But most people just prefer the, these two systems. And this was discontinued in 1999 for the Dreamcast, which I don't have yet, so I guess stay tuned. And stay tuned for this episode, I don't know when, and I'm not sure. Now because we have the box, we might as well just like, you know, do a bit of review. So, the box here <laughs> has the console there, makes it look like you're in space. You're pretty much Saturn, I guess. On this bottom right here, we have Sega Saturn and the console. And this side has Sega Saturn and the console, and same thing, just not that. Let's see if we can read this. Now, I will try and take this off, but it will ruin the box, and also, it's a bit of history. You can find out what happened with this thing. Originally, back in 1997. The back of the box pretty much doesn't really say anything. It just has the logo and it just has the stuff. Pause to read. Now, let's open the box. Now, I don't have the controller in here and other stuff. Wow, let's take you out. But we're not gonna go there yet. We have the original paperwork. Sega warranty. Hmm, I wonder if it's valid though. Sega hints and tips. I gotta, I gotta check that out at some point. Remember when they had these? Back in like the 2000s, like 1990s and 2000s. Kind of a little bit, a little, little outdated. <laughs> I wonder if it's still open. And we have the original manual. Oh god. Is this submerged? A little bit. Oh well, we can still move you. Really boring. Wait. I think I noticed something. Advanced. No. We can't do advanced. We're going to basics. Alright. Oh, wait. Let's move that to the side. Actually, I forgot to look at the top. So it has a bit of, bit of, like, you know, different games and also different accessories you can get. Let's just go through this console quickly. So basically we have, you know, the front and all that. Cartridge input, got power, reset and open, open. Now the cartridges, it's pretty much used for like external storage and stuff like that. External like devices you can get. But obviously I don't have any, so I can't exactly test this out for you. On the bottom, pretty much the same. And finally, the back. Two different ports. What's in here? Honestly, I don't care. And now, we got the controller. Yup, we just got six buttons, obviously. We got start, and we got the T-pad, and triggers. <laughs> Plug in. Plug in. And now let's power it on. Wow, we have set language. Yeah, this just does that. Set clock. Ah, it can't be under 1994, it looks like. When does this go up to? I guess that's where it goes obsolete completely. Good to know. Wow. Oh yeah, ignore that. Let me just unplug this. And then we'll just move it out. Just completely unrelated. Here's the menu. As you can see, it's only just the CD player, as you can see. We got <gasps> advanced controls. Is this the advanced stuff? Showtime. Scan intro. I don't know. Basic controls. 
Yeah. So it's like a back one. Program sequence. <gasps> How dare you? What about this? Adjust surround. Oh, that's a surround sound. No, they really want to be offended. Showtime. Shuffle all that. High controls? So you can just view absolutely nothing. In fact, you can view stuff. Just this. Wow, so cool. Oh well. Wow. System settings. We got clock, manage, memory manager, other settings. Yup. Now, that's pretty much it for the menu. Now, I would do gameplay, but I just can't be bothered. However, we got custom! Here is just a custom turbo controller that came with this. We're just gonna take a look. So this is used for turbo, it looks like. So as you can see, we got the most absolutely horrible D-pad of all time. That can't be comfortable. We got slow. We got start and all that. And then program. <laughs> nice. Here we go. Looks like it works. Let's see. Just... Number one is that. Two is that. Three. Okay, number no, three doesn't really do anything yet. Now we have the disk drive. So a perfect thing to do is insert non-Sega Saturn disks. Let's try this. Drive empty. In fact, the reason why I won't be working with them with Blu-ray or or whatever, because this is only designed for compact discs or CD-ROM. So, this one's suitable for the system. I'm not gonna play that because that's data, and obviously data may have the best thing ever. However, am I really gonna kill speakers with this? Nope. What is the original brand or is it just because why not? Wow. Hmm, 65 minutes. Let's play. And now, because we don't have anything else, now, how was it? I guess it was pretty good in 2023. Well, menu-wise, I guess. However, it wasn't really a proper review. That's why it's called Sarkin Reviews. So I guess, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you next time. Yay. Yeah.